Kahawa. Huyu ni Kamete. And this is Kate Mbugwa. Woohoo! Hii ni uhalisia. Let me tell you. This time round ushuhuda huu utaweza kukubariki sana hapa ni Cypress Park. And by the way, we thank these people so much because every time tumetaka kufanyia kipindi hapa tunapata milango iko wazi and because of that hapa ni pale pazuri ukija hapa utafurahia okay now the testimony here yeah kawa iko poa mhm mm kitumbugwa ni mwimbaji wa nyimbo za injili kama unavyojua na kama ujui basi nishakueleza and she has a testimony that is really going to shock you but also inspire you because uhalisia is all about kuoneshana nguvu za Mungu and uh, story yake itakufanya ujue kwamba life can change all of a sudden and if you don't have enough shock absorbers mambo yanaweza haribika sana wewe mm -hmm. choose white coffee it's okay yes, yes. mimi without sugar anytime wewe waimbaji huwa hatukui sukari now mm -hmm. <laughs> mbogwa you have been through a lot. What is your story? Ah, uh, Kate Mbogwa ni mzaliwa wa uh, Nakuru. Yeah. But alikuja na okay, alikuja na Nakuru alikuwa mdogo. Okay. Ni mzaliwa wa Rotara Ngorika Tumaini. Mhm. Uko Olkalao? Yes. And then akakuja kwa primary. Akakuja mm -hmm. Nakuru sababu ya ya sababu ya weather. Uh, Sikuwa napelekana vizuri na baridi mm -hmm. so nikaletwa huku of which my dad alikuwa huku alikuwa anafanya mm. kazi huku okay. so nika join Lenana primary school yeah. and then later nika join St. Xavier's and nika transfer nikiwa form 3 nikaenda Victoria mm -hmm. of which nil, nilimalizia huko okay. so after kumaliza shule nilikuwa sing, okay singeenda kwenda singeweza kwenda college immediately because my dad alianza kugonjeka and uh, way back my dad alikuwa na ile tunasema Adam Apple like hana <laughs> your Adam Apple mm -hmm. but hatukuwa tunajua ni shida mm -hmm. si tulikuwa tunamchezea mm -hmm. so after kido kidogo akaanza kugonjeka uh, anapelekwa hospitali anapewa madawa za pressure sijui madawa za wapi yeah. ikaenda hivyo ikalipuka ni cancer hmm. ikiwa stage 4 atriri mhm mm imekuwa ndani ya mwili yes. inamkula eh. lakini haijajulikana yeah, yeah, yeah. so by the time the doctors wana realize mm -hmm. iko stage 4 iko stage 4 and then hawakujua ha, ha, immediately cuz alifanywa mpaka operation ati ni growth wanatoa kwa throat so si tukijua like ako na cancer already alikuwa amefanywa operation ati ni ni uh, anatolewa growth yeah, so, by then they thought it was not cancer yeah and that that time hakukuwa na hizo ma, ma, ma cases mingi za cancer ah. ilikuwa so rare because watu walikuwa na na cancer sana even food zenye walikuwa nakula yes. zilikuwa so strong yes. so si tulijua like dada ako na cancer akiwa almost kukufa mm. but um, hapo between ali alisumbuka cuz tulikuwa tunafikiria ni magonjwa zingine ni mm -hmm. diabetes ne tukienda hosi hatuambiwi like ni cancer cuz mm -hmm. hawako anajua so or... after okay he passed on when he was 73 okay years. so venye alipelekwa hosi akalazwa akafanya operation sijui ni growth imetokea boom ni cancer Stage four. Stage four. Mm. So after hapo, daktari wakaona hawaezi. Unacho ukifika stage four. Niwe na mungu. It's a miracle that we... Ndo hiyo. Yeah. So tukambiwa, tutarudi na hiyo. So mm. amefanyi operation. Na imepatika na ni cancer. Mm -hmm. Kwenye kwa tutuangapi? 
Ehehe <laughs> sisi ni wengi. Mm -hmm. Mimi nimezaliwa familia wasichana 12. Wow. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm the last born in the family. Okay. And the uh, one is gone. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yenyu wote ni madem. Madem watu. So wenyu wako sasa hivi 11 girls. Yes. Ana. <laughs> so mgambiwa you go back with him. Go back with him. Nothing and, could be uh, done. Eh, so akapewa madawa uchungu. So after kwenda home to like a month and a half ndo akapas akapas Eh eh So kupas tulikuwa na mama Ile ile shock mzito haikuwa cuz we had a pillar At that time I was uh, I was uh, doing something I was nilikuwa nimeajiriwa I was eh nilikuwa okay. young and naive sababu ndo niko my early 20s yep. So we had a shoulder to lean on our mom Yeah and then uh, I was in church most of the time I was, I was in church kama si uko kwa kwa job yenye yeah. nimeajiriwa so mimi nimekuwa nimelelewa kwa kanisa Mhm mm And then after Na ukumbuke uko na kahawa hapo. Mm -hmm. Asante. Mimi unajua mimi ndio kukunywa biumbie. Asante. Yeah. So after um that have passed to like like um, kutoka 2013 ali pass mm -hmm. 2013 mm -hmm. to 2018. 2017 kidogo turudi nyuma. Nika reflect. I was I was just having my my uh, home choirs nika reflect like eh, kama Mungu hangekuwa nguvu zangu ningekuwa wapi I've lost dad Yes I have mom but unajua tunaambia God father ama uh, the husband is there the priest of the house yeah. So ilikuja umenipa nguvu umesimama nami umekoa mwanga maisha ni mwangu umenipa nguvu Umesimama nami umekuwa mwanga maisha ni mwangu I called my friend tukaenda we recorded we shot the video mm -hmm. tukai release 2017 mm -hmm. 2018 my mama kajigonga kilima akajigonga kwa jembe eh akajigonga uh, matiti akilima mm -hmm and then uh, akanyamaza yeye yeah, alikuwa anafikiria kienda hosi hiyo kitu itaisha uvumbe ilikuwa imefura so alikojigonga alikuwa amefura alifura oh alifura, after alijigonga eh, alifura mati but akanyamaza tu akanyamaza kaenda hosi zile pin killers kidogo kidogo nyumbani afterwards no we had a gathering after like few months uh tuka notice like ai mam Eh, kuna venye amefura side moja mm -hmm. ndo akatu explainia like uh, alijigonga kilima na amekuwa akienda hosi but hapati side hizi cuz matiti imefura kabisa mm -hmm. so my elder sisters ni wakubwa wakasema lazima we take initiative of going to to hospital sure. to seek more uh, clarification yeah, on the, yes. yeah, what is going on mm -hmm. So when you are in the uh kafanywa test Dr. Ritu ali alikuja akamwambia frank on her face. Madhi in kikuyu madhi wina cancer na nyodo tukulega. In Kiswahili madhi uko na cancer na tutakata tu matiti. So ilim bam ilim gonga. Like ata kupita pita ile Hawa kupita huo ha, daktari hakupita psychologically mm, 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 ni Ave ah. uko na kansa na tutakata matiti. So remember bwanake wa dad alikufa na hii kansa and then yani alikaa kama nizuzu ni yani ni kama ni kama mtoto mdogo mwenye hajielewi. Hata hakuongea for a while and then ojo saa mzazi ni mzazi aka spirit yake ikakuwa revived but deep in her alikatika alikuwa like ni kama amekufa kama kwa uhai but she had to be strong for us lazima hange tuonyesha like ameshtuka but alishtuka there was no even counseling like no 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 hey, aliambia hey. frank yani kwa 
uso wake uko na cancer so tulikuwa in denial like a family like watoto wake ah uh, ku reflect chenye tulipitia na mzai hata kama ilikuwa few months yeah, it, was it was hectic <laughs> ilikuwa emotionally draining yeah. ilikuwa financially draining mm-hmm. yote time kwanza hakukuwa na NHIF ndio zilikuwa zimeanza kutoka yes mama alikuwa na NHIF but it was now times to dreadly the pillar now in the house akona cancer so wali sema lazima waende another hospital wali wa clarify like kama ni ukweli for a second opinion mm-hmm. yeah. wakaenda kwa second yes. the third the fourth ndo wali believe okay to believe akona cancer so unajua sasa the same, same recommendation eh tuki tuki really still time ina naendelea yeah, kusonga yeah, 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 yeah. So what happened now it's 2018. Mhm. Ah uh, akakubali takato hiyo matiti. Because she was a virtual woman, a prayerful woman. Kukubali atakato matiti so to prepare financially and psychologically na akafanya operation. But neither did we know that already liko imeruka stage 3 as in imetoka stage 2 eh uh, stage 2 to stage 3 imeenda stage 3 eh uh, so when you even by the time ana jigonga ni kama eh uh, ni kama cells it was a trigger uh, i don't know cancer in a semekana ni cells zin of a group yeah ni kama ili trigger so those cells and then i think you ku, ku delay kwenda hosia na take pain killers na sisi hapa kwenye hatuku kubali ako na cancer tunaenda from hospital to hospital so ina na progress. Yeah. Alienda hosi akafanya operation and then uh, kambi watafanywa chemo after operation mm-hmm. of which it was to be way vice versa. She was to be done chemo and then a uh, operative endo cells zikuwe zime shrink. But now they did the opposite. They did the operation first and then and chemo came second. Yes. So it was supposed to be Chemo fast. fast and then the cells the shrink and that then was the advice from another doctor already it was done Ebu <laughs> wow <laughs> yes tuko na Kate Mbugu wa mwimbaji wa nyimbo za injili that's when nilikwambia kwamba her testimony <laughs> mambo mengine huwa yanafanyika if you don't have enough shock absorbers you know uh, unaweza jipata katika hali mbaya sana you lose your father anakuja kujulikana kwamba saratani imekuwa kimkula ikiwa stage 4 and then the mother anafanya kazi anajigonga kwenye titi moja kwenda kuangaliwa baada ya uchungu hapa kule ati tena ni kansa na anaambiwa hapo na hapo ya kwamba mama this is the condition mm-hmm. and we have to do away with that particular part of your body mm-hmm. it took time for her to accept and then wakaenda hospitali 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 and of course it was confirmed and then sasa finally she accepted and the operation was done let me tell you you have not had anything yet tuenda madukani and then baada ya kambili hivi tunarudi ndipo tusikie what followed wow